Warning, viewer discretion advised. I have massive beef with a social media app. And surprisingly, it's not TikTok. Although I guess we could call it TikTok's fault. I've got beef with Instagram. Forever, Instagram has been my favorite social media app. It had a relatively straightforward premise. You follow your friends, your friends post pictures, you see their pictures, you stay up to date with what your friends are doing. Pretty simple app. Sometimes you unsuccessfully slide in Johnny Sims DMs. Let's go. You get the idea. But over the course of the last six or seven months, I've started to really hate Instagram. And I could never put my finger on why. I knew that Instagram reels were really pissing me off, but you know, if people want to post videos, they're going to post videos. And then I saw this Nade Shot tweet and it summarized it for me perfectly. He said, it's wild how quickly Instagram turned into TikTok. I think I'm served a still photo from someone I follow one out of every 10 posts on my feed. 90% of everything else are reels from accounts I don't follow. This could not be more true and it could not make me more mad. <laughs> I get it. TikTok is a behemoth. Short form content seems to be the wave. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's some very talented short form content creators. But just because short form content is the wave doesn't mean you have to actually ram it down my throat. And the more I realize it, and my biggest gripe with it is there's no consent at all. Yeah! It was just one day you logged into Instagram and instead of seeing the picture your friend posted, you see like some dog water TikTok downsized, converted over to Instagram and slapped in the middle of your Instagram feed. Instagram does it, Facebook does it, YouTube Shorts does it, TikTok does it. Every app is just a shitty watered down version of TikTok. And there's no consent. Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake and then go back home. It's like being a cute 19 year old girl walking into a frat party, but instead of roofies, it's a gigantic black it's a gigantic black dildo with short form content written on the side and you're forced to deep throat it. You don't even have a choice. I am inevitable. Two hands on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. All the way down your throat. It pisses me off so bad. Let me give you a really good example here, okay? Here's my Instagram. 572,000 followers. Now, in fairness, a lot of them aren't active, right? We assume. Let's look at one of my best posts. This was one of the coolest days of my life. May 4th, also my birthday. Uh, I got to announce a draft pick for the Lions. It's got almost 149,000 likes. With the 177th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Let's look at the insights on this picture. It reached 473,000 accounts. It reached 335,000 of my followers. So, so let's just say that about 335,000 of my 572,000 followers are active. And if you're a big math guy, let's do the math. 335,000 out of 572,000 is roughly 58% of my followers are active. Sweet. And it also reached 138,000 people who don't follow me. Now let's go to my next picture post. Picture me and Phobin. How could you not like Phobin? This photo is three weeks later. I get it. It's not the world's greatest day in my life. It's not nearly as cool as announcing a draft pick. Let's view the insights. Oh! 183,000 accounts reached and it reached 172,000 of my followers. Now that's not saying people who actually interacted or liked the photo. Cause I can see that 70,000 people liked the photo. It simply only reached the page of 172,000. Now, if that was a ratio, 70,000 out of the 172,000 that actually saw it, that's about 40% of the people who saw the post liked it. And that's roughly the same statistics you're gonna get here. 149,000 people actually liked this photo, right? And there's 335,000 followers. 149,000 likes divided by 335,000 accounts reached is 44%. So on average, 4% more people who actually saw the photo liked it. That makes sense. This is a really cool picture. It was, a, it was a big moment for me. Okay, but why did half of the people three weeks later see this photo? And I don't want to bitch and moan that hard, right? It's just half the people. And before I go any further, one point I want to emphasize is I don't give a shit about the literal number. I wouldn't care if that's seven likes or seven million likes. The point is people who follow me aren't getting served my post. That's a little suspicious. This is the picture posting social media or so it was. Let's fast forward nine days after that to this post. Granted, this is a sellout post. I'm being a sellout little bitch. Okay, so I make this sponsored post with Gillette. Let's view the insights on this. 81,000 accounts reached to 78,000 of my followers. What? Now, I know what you want to say. You want to say ratio plus you fell off plus simply make better content. I'd almost agree with you. Under normal circumstances, seeing less engagement, I'd say, wow, my wiener is so small. I should simply make better content. Except it was only six weeks prior that I had my most engaged post of all time. And every post since it has 
the engagement. And the reason is not because Instagram, for some reason, just doesn't feel like serving my photo to my followers. The reason is Instagram is literally punishing you for posting anything that is not a reel. They're trying, to, everyone is trying so hard to suck the juicy, milky revenue udders of TikTok that they, they're they selling out the basis of their own fucking platform. It's a picture sharing social media and you're punishing me for sharing a picture? What a fucking bitch, am I right? <laughs> No, you're not right. He's not being a bitch. He's completely right. The only other point I'd like to refute is someone might say, look, it's, it's a sponsored post, so they don't want to push it on people's feeds. I have three sponsored posts on my Instagram. I'm going to show you the engagement on all three of them. So here's Gillette, okay? 14,000 likes. It only reached 80,000 of my 335,000 engaged followers. Okay. So first thing I'd like to refute, let's just say I ratio plus fell off. Here's my Instagram story from five hours ago. Five hours ago. I was looking kind of beefy, low key. Tat was looking good. You know, I had to post this little thirst trap for the boys. That reached 138,000 people saw that story. That is 60,000 more people than were served my actual fucking in-feed post. What? What are you doing? What are you doing, Instagram, bro? I'm so sick of this shit. 135,000 people in the last five, only five Five hours saw this post. So 138,000 people out of my 335,000 engaged phone have logged in in the last five hours and viewed my story. It's, it's inconceivable. Oh my God, it's mind boggling. That's just an Instagram story. I, it hasn't even been up for 24 hours. It'll probably end at about 200,000. That's crazy. Now, if you're gonna make the point that it's a sponsored post and that's why it's not getting pushed, let's take a look back at my prior sponsored posts. Here's one with Subway on April 28th, me and Garrett Wilson, 73,000 likes. And we go to the insights. It reached 255,000 followers. The one previously was an American Eagle sponsored post that reached 1.8 million. Okay. This this isn't good insights because American Eagle sponsored. They, they boosted the post. This doesn't count. I can't use that. Here's a House of Highlights sponsor. Reached 291,000 of my followers. We'll keep going. I'll go back in the archives. Here's an OG House of Highlights post. This is back when I did the golf tourney. 314,000 followers. Let's go all the way fucking back. Let's go into the depths of my Instagram, bro. Let's go into the depth. Let's go to my high school prom. This was high school prom right here, baby. May 8, 2016 was my high school prom. Insights. The oh, it doesn't have it. Let's go all the way back to April 4th, 2020, okay? This picture is one of the best examples I can give. This is young baby Phobin. It's also a young baby Papa Me. This is a good two, three years ago. This photo has 94,000. It reached 96,000 of my followers. At the time, I probably had 115,000 followers. This is exactly how Instagram is supposed to function. Someone consciously follows me, I post a picture, they see it. It should be that simple. But since Instagram and every other company has shelled out their soul pushing Instagram reels so far down your throat, you could have sworn you touched the balls with your tongue that they don't even let your followers see your actual in-feed Instagram posts anymore. It's so frustrating. This is the only reason I ever downloaded Instagram. It's the only reason I use Instagram and I am so sick of it. It's no mystery that I don't like TikTok. I think short form content breeds a lot of stealing. It's, it's not sick. who made it first, it's who does it better. Who gives a fuck about some little copy content? Like, I'm an actor, I'm not a writer. That's really my big problem with short form content. In long form content, granted, I'm very biased because I'm a YouTube, right? So let's just get that out of the way. But in long form content, it's very difficult to outright steal somebody's shit because you have to you have to drag it out for a length of time. I swear every Instagram reel, YouTube short, or TikTok I've ever seen is just a clip down of somebody else's content. It's just stealing. And that's all reels is. And it has gotten so much worse over the last month. They've really ramped up this aggressive reel throttling, I guess you could call it, short form content throttling. And it makes the app unusable. This is what Instagram is for. These companies are simply not willing to take an L. Like, nobody's going to Instagram for TikTok content. People go to TikTok. That is the, the prime TikTok content. I'd like to give YouTube the same shit, but at least YouTube Shorts is a separate thing. There's a little bit of consent. They're still roofing me, but at least I watched them do it and then pounded the drink. Hold on. Not sure why I'm intentionally getting roofied in, the, in my hypothetical there, but whatever. Right, but you gotta click on YouTube Shorts. Are they dog shit? Yes. But you at least gotta click on it. Instagram doesn't even ask you. They don't even fucking ask you. They just click, 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 click. And I don't have a fucking say in it, bro. I'm just, I'm fully bent over, wide open, 
spread. Just take me for what I am, bud. I already opened the app. I'm roofied now. Unbelievable. I'm still gonna use Instagram how I want. I'm gonna post pictures of Fober. I'm gonna put beefy looking gym photos on my story and I'm gonna degrade women. It's quite simply what I do and no one will stop. But I would love if, if one app would just have gigantic gorilla balls and say, no, we're not gonna turn our app into a shitty version of TikTok. Of the fucking wish TikTok. The wasteland of shitty TikTok. For the love of God, because I swear, if I have to become a short form content creator and, every, and, and all my child's child support's gonna have to be paid through making 15 second videos, ooh, I might just stop paying alimony. All right, that concludes my rant. I haven't made one of these videos in a while. Felt good to get that one off my chest. Um, I'm just so pissed that no one got to see my stash in my Gillette ad, so fuck you, Instagram. Trying to make a bag here, whatever. But that's it, boys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, back to your regularly scheduled sports gaming content. Since I'm just a stupid fucking video monkey, right? I'll slap my symbols and make another video for you. Keep talking shit. Boys, I love you. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace.